Hello there guys, welcome back to Isaac Football Club, welcome back once again to Eblanio 1. I hope you are doing alright around the world. We are back in the transfer business again. Remember, transfer season open tomorrow. Tomorrow. I cannot believe it. It's finally here. The transfer window open tomorrow. Oh my goodness, mate, men, 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 men. The deals are happening, my dear friend out there. We are coming with another deal. Another deal. This one is special. This one is special. You love this one. I was like, to the rescue, the sadie, to the rescue. Ha <laughs> ha. This is all we wanted, guys. This is all we wanted. If this happened right now, Romero, Rokako, to Saudi Arabia, that would be a good deal for us. We wanted to get rid of this guy already. Right. You agree with me? Yeah. Let's go straight to the transfer news life. Ha <laughs> ha. Hala. Verbri offered a salary of 20 million a year to Romero Rukako during a meeting in Paris yesterday. The Belgium striker is interested but wants a lots of money. <laughs> he wants a lot of money because he's looking at everybody going to Saudi Arabia. And yeah, fair play. Benzema going there, Ronaldo going there, they're getting millions of dollars, you know, millions. You can say, maybe, I don't know what the Saudi Arabia currently is, but I have to look into that because I don't look into Saudi Arabian football, but after this, I'll be <laughs> seriously looking at their games right now. You know, Ronaldo is there, Benzema, Kante, those are my favorite players. So I'll be looking at this, I'll be like... I gotta watch Saudi Arabian football now because everybody's gone. So, Rukako to Saudi Arabia, this could be good, but he wants more money. So, they are still negotiating about that. But, man, this is what I'm saying. The transfer window, they are so full of surprising. We're about to see more surprises. It's, this is not done yet. <laughs> We're gonna see more. The Saudi Arabia, they're trying to revive their league. They're trying to, you know... To show that they have money. Yeah, guys, let me know what do you think about Romero Lukaku to Saudi Arabia. It's on. It's on. And I'm so glad this is happening. Oh, my God. It's a dream come true. <laughs> we get rid of the guy we don't want. He doesn't want to come back to Chelsea. He wants to stay at Inter. So, yes. Good. Now, Karim Mbappe, I talked about yesterday, Karim Mbappe wants to leave PSG, and it is true, Mbappe will not sign another contract. But, there is more update. Check out this from the transfers. Chelsea will not enter the race to sign Karim Mbappe. Bayern Munich will not attempt to sign Karim Mbappe. So Chelsea will not try to sign Karim Mbappe. We know that. Although Mbappe is a fan of Chelsea when he was young, he was supporting Chelsea. A lot of people they are thinking, I think Top Ball is going to make a madness. He's going to make a, a, you know, another transfer. I, I just think, I don't think that's going to happen. Mbappe is priority and his focus is Real Madrid. We know that. Real Madrid president is on Mbappe. He wants Mbappe. And Mbappe himself wants to play with Real Madrid. There's a big chance they're going to win the Champions League next season, Real Madrid. There's a big, big, big chance about winning the Champions League. And this is why Mbappe wants to go to Real Madrid, to go win the Champions League. Check out another update on Mbappe. Karl Mbappe has officially, officially told PSG he does not want to renew his contract that expired in 2024. The club will look to sell him if he doesn't renew because they don't want to lose him on the free. <laughs> they don't want <clears throat> to lose him on a free transfer. They will sell him. And this is why I'm like, Real Madrid is right there, right there. If you remember, this is why Real Madrid canceled the deal of Kai Havert. It's, they are not talking about that now. The first priority right now is Mbappe. Mbappe is on the top of the list of Real Madrid. This is why Havertz is off at the moment. But I don't think it's just off completely. I think they'll come back to test the water again. Hey, you Chelsea guys, have you changed your mind about Kai Havertz? We still want him, but we cannot pay 60, 
50 we will pay. I think it's gonna come to that. What do you think about Mbappe's update, Romero Lukaku to Saudi Arabia? It is, this is just great, man. I am so glad, I am so glad, I am so glad we are getting a lead of Lukaku to Saudi Arabia. Oh my goodness, this is a good one. <laughs> Kyle Mbappe has informed PSG of decision he will not trigger the option to extend current contract until 2025. It means that the deal would be expired next June 2024 as equipped code. PSG position no plan to lose Mbappe on free. Sign new deal now or could be sold. Just another update to qualify that this is true. Mbappe is about to leave PSG. I did a video yesterday. The news came out. There was another piece of news. And then now this is just a confirmation. Finally, things are happening. And when Frobisher man gives you, here we go. You know it's happening. Things are happening behind the scenes. So yeah, Mbappe is about to leave PSG. And Mbappe played cards very well. He played the cards very well. Leon Messi booed him, the PSG fans, because there was a rumor came out. He went to uh, Saudi Arabia on a, to have some kind of private meeting, so the club was not happy. Messi, he was banned for two weeks, no play games. And then PSG fans booing him. Ma Neymar, they... PSG fans want him to leave. They went to his house. He posted on Insta Instagram. He has some fans outside, you know, telling him to go out of uh, the club. So, so many things. And when you think about that, Mbappe, Messi, um, Neymar, they're all leaving PSG, I think. <laughs> they are going down. This is so bad. I'm like, so bad. PSG, they were surprised. Mbappe wrote a letter and he said he would not even sign the contract. <laughs> they were surprised. So PSG, I think if they lose both guys, they'll be in trouble. I think they will be in trouble. They have to look in at this January transfer market. I always say January. It's not January. This summer transfer market, they have to look for players now. High quality players. What are they going to do? We'll see the transfer just it's going to open tomorrow. So yeah, Mbappe is leaving PSG finally. Finally. <laughs> Check out this, the Chelsea news. Brighton will bid again for Rev Conwell and it could be 40 million proposal. Chelsea has no plans to let him leave and sees him as a long team project. Rev Conwell to Brighton. Brighton want Rev Conwell very badly, <laughs> very badly. And I understand that news about Brighton and Chelsea, most Casado, this is why Brighton are doing this. They are playing games with Chelsea. <laughs> they are playing games. They know Chelsea, they have to do this. Otherwise, we won't give you Casado. We will not give you Casado. You have to give us Conwell. <laughs> so we'll see. This is going to go up to the end, I think. It's going to go up to the end. Check out Chelsea are admiring of James Madison, but the current three priorities in a striker, a defensive midfield, and a goalkeeper instead so are likely to enter the race. Leicester are demanding a transfer fee of around 45 for Madison. That is cheap. I didn't expect Madison to be 45 to be honest. Very cheap. So yeah, but I don't think Chelsea they're gonna go to Madison. I we I was hoping Chelsea they go in, in this deal with Madison. But I don't think so, because right now we are looking for a goalkeeper and a striker. <clears throat> That's what we are looking at. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comment. Another sad news. Not sad, but sad Arabian. <laughs> Saudis, they are in a business, man. The sad ones, they are in a business. They are not playing around. You know, we will never forget this transfer market about the Saudi getting all the Premier League stars out of the Premier League. <laughs> It is crazy. Another one is Hakim Ziyech. Check out this. Hakim Ziyech has been on the subject of an approach from Saudi Arabia's Big Four. They are also all tracking Abamian. Abamian has been on Rider too to Saudi Arabia. So yeah, there we go. They are tracking Hakim Ziyech now. Let's see what's going to happen. Check out another news. It is transfer. As I said, it's opening tomorrow. So this is great. 
another one. Luka Modric as an author from Saudi Arabia. That is three times more than his salary at Real Madrid. Three times more than his salary at Real Madrid. This is why Lukaku was like, come on, come on, guys. I want more money. I want more. 20 million a year is not enough. I want more money. <laughs> Look at Modric. Is they're offering him three times, three times of this money that Real Madrid offering him. That is crazy, I have to say. I didn't expect that to be <laughs> like that. So, I don't, Look, Modric is saying he's, he will stay at Real Madrid. But three times of your money, they give you three times. I don't think you will deny that. I don't think you will. Maybe if you love Real Madrid very much, you will say, nah, I will stay at Real Madrid. But three times, three times. Think about it, Madrid. Think about it. Guys, I will see you soon for another video. I think there will be another video because the transfer is, is opening tomorrow. I'm just repeating this again and again just to understand that, yeah, it's opening in tomorrow. <laughs> so, yeah, subscribe to Isaac Football Club. Hit notification bell so you don't have to miss anything. I'll see you soon. Have a lovely day. I will see you soon in a couple hours, I think, because there's, so, there's going to be something. I know that. I, I can smell it. I can smell it. I can smell it. I can smell it. There's gonna be something. There's gonna be something very soon. So, have a lovely day, guys, again. <laughs> and God bless.